Hi students, now we are going to solve problem number 6. The odometer of a car reads 2000 km at the start of a trip and 2400 km at the end of the trip. If the trip took 8 hours, calculate the average speed of the car in km per hour and meters per second. Ok students, have you ever noticed the speedometer in a motorbike or a car or any vehicle? Yes, you must have observed the speedometer whose shape will be like this. You can read these numbers 0, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100 up to 160. So these markings, these calibrations on the speedometer are in which unit means kilometer per hour. Okay. Now below this pointer, below this needle or pointer, here there is another marking. Can you all see? Here it is 0, 2, triple 0. That means it is 2000. So this is in kilometer. And here you see 0, 2, 4, double 0. This is 2400 kilometer. So whenever a two wheeler or a car moves from one position to another position, how many kilometers the vehicle has moved? That is, how many kilometers it has run can be indicated by a small device called as odometer. Totally, this device is called as the speedometer. But at the base of the speedometer, there is a small pointer. Understand? There is a scale. And this will be calibrated in kilometer. So, this only is called the odometer. Can you see that uh, the beginning of the trip it is showing 2000 km and at the end of the trip it is showing what uh, 2400 km. Okay. So now the total distance travelled. Total distance travelled must be equal to this uh, 2400. 2400 minus 2000 so 2400 kilometer minus 2000 so this is equal to 400 and the unit is kilometer and the total time taken the total time taken the total time taken is equal to 8 hours okay 8 hours therefore the average speed so what is the definition of average speed we have studied in the class it is a total distance uh, divided by the total time so this is a total distance uh, divided by the total time taken total time taken so what is the total distance in kilometer it is uh, 400 divided by 8 and the unit is kilometer per hour so, this is 8 phase are 40, therefore this 400 by 8 is equal to 50. So, this is equal to 50 kilometer per hour. So, we have calculated the average speed in the first unit namely kilometer per hour. But 1 kilometer per hour is also equal to 5 by 18 meter per second. Is it not? So, we are going to express the speed in meter per second. Okay. So, meter per second, this average speed is now equal to this 50 kilometer per hour into 5 by 18. Okay, and the unit is meter per second. So, if you calculate, using a calculator, if you find means, it is coming as 13.9 meters per second. So, you have to divide this by 2. And then we have to multiply and find out the value. It is found that uh, the average speed is also equal to 13.9 meters per second. Okay, students, have you all understood? Okay, now shall we go to the seventh sum? Seventh one is a very, very simple, very small numerical problem. During uh, an experiment, uh, a signal from a spaceship, from spaceship, okay, a signal, okay, a signal. What is that name of the signal called electromagnetic signal, radio waves, microwaves, like that. Okay, students. So, a spaceship 
he is sending a signal that signal from the spaceship reached the ground station okay in 5 minutes so a signal is uh, starting from the spaceship and reaching the ground station in 5 minutes what was the distance of the spaceship from the ground station from the ground station now the signal travels at the speed of uh, light so you must be knowing the standard value of uh, speed of light that is uh, 3 into 10 power 8 meters per second so in one second how much distance light travels is 3 lakh kilometers or 3 into 10 power 8 meters in one second so it is very very simple suppose you take uh, this is uh, this is the ground okay this is the ground station and uh, from uh, the space okay from the space uh, let us say that uh, this is a, a spacecraft okay this is a, a spacecraft uh, these are all solar panels so from here uh, it is flashing a signal that signal is traveling always this uh, light as well as electromagnetic waves uh, called the signals they travel along a straight line path only the path will be a straight line so this is uh, the distance uh, distance uh, traveled by the signal so what is uh, the speed speed is equal to speed is equal to what uh, distance uh, divided by time so speed is equal to distance traveled divided by time taken and uh, this is therefore the distance uh, d is equal to what uh, speed into time speed into time okay students so we want to find the distance of the space uh, station from the ground station okay so the space ship is at what distance uh, therefore uh, d is equal to speed speed of light is given as what uh, 3 into 10 to the power of 8 so this is a meter per second into 5 minutes the time is given so this is 5 minutes is multiplied by 60 seconds so that this second and second get cancelled so this is a 3 into 10 power 8 into this is a 300 meter the answer will come in the unit namely meter therefore the distance is equal to 3 threes are 9 so it is 900 so this is equal to 900 into 10 to the power of 8 so this is equal to 9 into 10 to the power of 10 meter okay so this is a 900 9 into 100 9 into 10 power 2 this is 10 power 8 so it makes 9 into 10 power 10 meter this is the answer i hope you must have understood well fine